Hello there everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids. And in today's video, I want to give you an update to Ugo. Now that Awakening is live in the game, we've got blessings. I want to do an updated guide on Ugo. Was talking about her in a video, uh, I think yesterday was when that went live. We're discussing Ugo versus Mighty Uko, which gets very confusing. Two very similarly named champions and both top tier choices for block buff champions for Hydra. Uh, I, th I think I made a, an Ugo guide, an in-depth guide for her at the start of the year. Well, since then, she has really cemented herself as being just the, the, the pinnacle, the top of the top when it comes to Hydra. And she features in a lot of Nightmare Hydra teams, right? A lot of Night... In fact, if we look at just my clan here, we can see there's an Ugo, there's an Ugo, another Ugo, another Ugo. She is in there all over the place in the top teams for the hardest content for Hydra. Uh, so that's what we're going to be building her for. I think that's uh, really what we want to do, right? She is good, obviously, basically everywhere in the game. But really, this is a champion you want to build really specifically for Hydra. And the good news is that that will, of course, make her good for the other places that she's most useful as well, which is Faction Wars, Doom Tower, um, possibly even some Arena, some Tag Arena. She's still going to be good there, but she she really shines when it comes to Hydra. Uh, quick look at her kit very quickly. What makes her so good is, is really... All of her stuff is like S tier debuffs for Hydra, basically, but she brings you decreased defense and block buffs, AoE, on a three turn cooldown. These are two of the most important debuffs to bring to Hydra, right? To up your damage and to stop all the nasty stuff that the Hydra can, can do with reflect damage, poison cloud, increased attack, etc. Stealing your buffs as well, right? So this is so important and there's so few block buff champions in the game. Again, I did a whole video, like I said, on Mighty Uko discussing how your team comp might change depending on whether you bring Mighty Uko instead of Ugo. It's pretty impressive though for an epic to be competing, arguably beating uh, a legendary champion there. Uh, she's got Leech on the A1, which is really nice to keep you alive. And then she's got a very good heal on her A3. And here's a little tip as well, guys. When you're setting up your AI presets for your teams, definitely make her priority one on Maelstrom Rack. It's very important to do this as priority one. But her AI is actually very smart with Ugo's Brew, and she won't do this unless there are debuffs to remove or healing to be done, right? She actually, she won't just waste this ability randomly, which is really great. It's really, really useful. She'll actually save it for when it matters. But for Hydra, this is just exceptional because, guess what? Since the Hydra nerf, right, which happened kind of during the summer... Uh, the Head of Decay can now be provoked, and guess what? When he's provoked, he always does his A1. The A1 places heal reduction, and that is something that can very easily lead to a dead champion. If they keep getting heal reduction on them over and over again, well, you can't heal them. Well, Ugo removes that, which is super good. And also another random debuff. Again, very strong, because oftentimes, maybe the only debuff out there is, like, the True Fear from Head of Torment. She removes that as well super useful or provokes from decay uh, sorry not from decay provokes from wrath or suffering really strong just uh, just amazing stuff and you can sort of see looking at her kit we'll talk about the blessing in a second it's pretty straightforward how you want to build her really um i actually have a little cheat sheet here these are the stats that you want accuracy speed and hp they're the top priority then defense and resistance are sort of your second priority you don't need to build around these too much I'd certainly get a certain amount of defense. You could you could decide to ditch resistance entirely if you want, like in this build right here, for example. This is the Ugo I use for Brutal. Um, I don't have her with any resistance. I've completely ditched it. Uh, so that's, that's what you want to do. Enough accuracy to land your debuffs, speed to rotate through her abilities quickly, and then HP to keep her alive, and also to up the potency of her heal because the heal is based off of her max HP. Uh, and she doesn't really do any damage that's worth talking about. Uh, outside of proccing War Master, which we'll look at in a second. Uh, in terms of gear sets, Relentless is definitely the best because all of her moves are so strong and getting back to her cleanse, getting back to the block buffs move is so important in Hydra. I highly recommend actually building her in Relentless if you can, though if it's going to cost you too much stats, it's not going to be worth it. I'll show you some sample stat builds as well. Uh, other good options, you can simply run, you know... Um, Early game, you can simply run her with speed, accuracy. Uh, I mean, resist any any stat any sets that give her good stats are fine. Like resistance is going to be fine, you know. Um, if you've got a spare regen, that could be good, but you might not have any spare. Uh, I mean, immortal is going to be okay. Whatever, you get a lot of resilience, a lot of perception. They're giving her decent stats. They're totally good. Likely, as you can see, you're going to be running lots of perception. 
If you've got some Doom Tower sets, Guardian is very good as well. Uh, but I do think that Relentless is better. And seeing this as an S tier champion for Hydra, I do think she's probably quite worthy of getting a Relentless set on her if you have one. Like she's definitely a very top tier choice for that. So that is what I would do. Um, but there you go. They are the sets. Uh, if I show you my second Ugo, who's not awakened, uh, you will see that. Uh, where is she? I think we just scrolled past her. Here we go. So this is the Ugo I use for Nightmare. And you can see they're very, very similar. So my Nightmare Hydra Ugo, as you can see, she's built up with 74,000 HP, about 2,400 defense, about 250 speed. Now, she's actually too low on the accuracy. And this is specifically because I run her with Shamrock in the lead who gives her 70 bonus accuracy. If you want to see the accuracy for Hydra, which is what you're gonna to need to build for, this is what I would recommend, roughly speaking. Uh, you can go slightly lower than this and you'll kind of get away with it. This is to successfully debuff the Head of Suffering who has the most resistance of the heads. Um, the other heads, you'll have a, a better chance. So if you're slightly low, you're gonna miss you know, debuffs on Suffering, which does kind of suck, but you can get away with it a little bit. Uh, but about 210, you go, Aiming for 200 for normal is probably fine. 260 for hard, 325 for brutal, and 405 for nightmare. I mean, rough ballpark figures. You're looking at like 200 for normal, 250 for hard, uh, 320 for brutal, and 400 for nightmare. That's going to be fine, right? Again, you might miss the odd debuff here or there, but this is what to aim for, really, when you're trying to build that perfect build. Um, and of course, that's not incorporating masteries. That's not incorporating... Um, accuracy auras and stuff like that right or increase accuracy buffs if you're running any of those so there we go uh, again you saw the stats that i have on this ugo right here here's a couple of different example builds then looking at those key stats so for hard you could obviously go for a much weaker build than what i have here and you'd be fairly okay so for hard i'm saying maybe 50k hp 2k defense i mean this stuff is a bit squishy and it shouldn't be that hard to build her with with more than this right it should be fairly easy uh, even for someone who's only been playing for a few months to start getting better stats. But hey, it, this is a very uh, a low a low ball starting point, right? 220 speed, so it's good high speed. That is what she wants. And then 250 accuracy for hard. Then for Nightmare, here's an example, which is a bit closer to what I have, which is 70k HP, 3k defense, 250 speed, and 400 accuracy. But you can see there's flexibility. Like this one I use for Nightmare, her defense is actually fairly low. And the accuracy is made up for with the aura. It just helps me get away with some of that stuff. I still have to roll up her banner. I'm trying to get her with some resistance as well, just to resist some poisons, because those can be kind of a pain to deal with. Uh, poisons will kill her from Head of Blight. And then this Ugo, again, the second one also needs some accessories, still rolled up. But you can see she is actually very high in defense, but a bit lower on speed, a bit more accuracy. Uh, I use her in Brutal, you know? So there's flexibility there. In terms of, um, in terms of the blessing, so this is the brand new thing. I actually highly recommend Cruelty for her, which is quite funny because when you look at it, it's giving you attack, HP, and crit damage percent, right? Which are not stats that she wants. I mean, 1,000 HP is nice, but it's really very insignificant, right? Uh, why are we going for this? Well, the reason is that Cruelty is super strong, and it simply procs whenever you hit an enemy. It's going to decrease their defense. Now, Ugo should be going very fast, and she's got an AoE and a three-turn cooldown. She's actually going to be throwing out a lot of AoEs. She'll be able to stack this up, this defense reduction, up pretty quickly on bosses. So this actually makes her quite valuable. In fact, she's going to be quite valuable to get all the way up even to six-star ascension, especially for that extra speed. I do think this is the way to go. Uh, you could, if you've got cruelty from another source, though I think it's fairly unlikely in Hydra, something like Commanding Presence would be quite nice, which is going to give her lots of HP and some resistance and strengthen your aura. Um, like Chainbreaker gives her sort of the stats that she wants, some defense, HP, and accuracy. But I think the effect is not that useful uh, for Hydra. It's got a quite long cooldown. I'm just I'm not super convinced. I really do feel like you go for Cruelty, even though it's it's terrible stats. She's actually very easy to build stat-wise. So I think this is what you go for. And then finally, for your Masteries, I recommend something along these lines. So I'm slightly in the way. Here we go. Um... I recommend bringing her down the left-hand side here of the offense tree, mainly to get War Master. This is actually quite important. This will add a lot of damage to her for Hydra, which is great. Uh, and also Doom Tower and Faction Wars, etc. And also this damage will actually heal her quite a significant chunk. 
uh, especially with her leech debuff right when she places leech with her a1 and then she hits that enemy if she procs war master does heal her a good amount which will help her to stay alive because um yeah she can she can actually die right she can definitely die uh, because she's going to be so fast and taking extra turns, she's going to outrun your buffs and she should be a little bit vulnerable. So I do recommend that. I also recommend Life Drinker to heal a bit when you're lower in HP. Then I do recommend grabbing her more accuracy stuff over here, right? So more accuracy for each enemy alive. So that's 16 more accuracy uh, in Hydra. So you can subtract that from your required accuracy. Uh, get her some more turn meter when debuffs expire. It's going to be nice. You know, more stats from stat sets. This is really good, especially if she's in something like, you know, triple perception. Really good value. Um, Master Hexer, Extender debuffs, and Sniper. Better chance of place debuffs. These two are extremely important. So she really does need to be fully mastered. You need Sniper to make her block buffs 100% against Hydra. Otherwise, it's only 95%. You want that consistency, and it also improves her Leech as well. And then again, you really want to extend those debuffs. Extending that block buffs, extending the Leech even, the decreased defense, extending any of that stuff can make a huge difference. Now, obviously, if you've got tons of accuracy, you could start sending her down this, get her more HP, make her heal better. You can totally send her down that way as well. If you don't need the accuracy, it's totally up to you. But definitely, you definitely, definitely want Sniper, Master Hexer, and War Master, in my opinion. They're like the, the really essential ones. So there you go. That is Ugo. I Like I said, I've got two of them. This is a champion that's going to be well, well worth getting uh, Ascensions for. Uh, sorry, getting Awakening for, getting Souls for. It's well worth it. Um, I've both of them built basically the same. They're absolutely incredible. Um... And yeah, again, like to give you a quick glance at her gear here so you can see I'm looking for it. This is not even that good. Looking for pieces with speed. Speed is really what I'm looking for. Speed and accuracy. There we go. You can see I can glyph it up more. HP percentage on the gloves. I can glyph that up with more speed. HP percentage on the chest. You can run her with an accuracy or a resistance chest if you want, if it's going to help you reach one of those breakpoints. Speed boots, of course, no question. And then you're probably going to want her in something like an accuracy banner. Uh, she actually has the wrong necklace on look at that there we go i didn't even notice that that's hilarious i've i put on the wrong necklace wow here we go she should have something like this this would be much better refresh amulet there we go well i'll go fix that after this video that's super funny i clearly clicked the wrong one and i didn't notice until going through in detail i guess that's um some some good karma for making the video you can see this ugo is in very similar stuff we're looking for like speed and accuracy speed here speed and accuracy HP percentage gloves, HP percentage chest on this one as well, speed boots. She actually does have a resistance banner. Does she have an attack amulet? No, she's in the correct thing. Again, not the best stats. We'd really like more rolls into accuracy or resistance or defense or HP. Uh, well, she couldn't get HP because it's a HP necklace, but HP necklace, HP ring, defense ring, de defense necklace are fine. Accuracy banner, HP banner, resistance banner, whatever you need to reach that threshold. Definitely looking for good speed on the banner. But there you go, guys. That is Ugo. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see gameplay, she features in so many, so many of my Hydra videos. There's so much gameplay out there. You will see it. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to update that guide and give you guys some clear guidelines for how to build her. Thanks for watching. Especially now that, you know, you get these soul stones from Hydra. Everyone's going to be doing it. So yeah, see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.